I'm Chris Devin. Right now I'm joined by Brad Sprogis from Sprogis and Neal in the South End. Now, Brad, you mentioned to me earlier the role of the cover letter. What role does a cover letter play or potentially play in getting an offer accepted in today's market? Given the competitive nature of the market with we're seeing when we see multiple bids being placed on properties, it can really make your offer stand out. You can remove your mortgage contingency, you can remove your inspection contingency, you can give the, the seller the closing date they want. Those are all strong tools, but a cover letter can mean even more. I actually just came across a situation myself where one of my buyers used a cover letter, um, came in $5,000 under the top bid, had 90% financing where the other offer was cash, but because they wrote a cover letter, were familiar with the neighborhood, their family had been there for 30 years, the seller, not knowing them directly, went with that offer. So it can definitely be the thing that takes it over the top. That's great, because real estate is very personal. And if you've raised your children in, a, in your home for 25 years and the next person who's considering your home tells you their story and that they're going to have uh, children and they envision them running through their, that backyard, you may want to sell them that your house. So go with the cover letter is the bottom line. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Thanks, Brad. And if you're looking for expert advice, if you're buying or selling your home in the Boston market, and you'd like to reach out to Brad directly, you can do so by going to sprogisandneal.com. And remember, you can also tune in every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. right here on Radio BDC to get the real talk of Boston real estate. Tune into Radio BDC Sunday mornings at 7 to hear Chris Devin and his guest list of top-notch local real estate professionals deliver the timely truths of the greater Boston real estate market.